Smart Switch Technologies of New Zealand manufactures systems for the marine industry for tank monitoring and control, bilge monitoring and control, general alarm systems, and marine toilet control. All of these systems are designed and manufactured in New Zealand to the strictest ISO 9000 standards. SmartSwitch has a complete line of tank monitoring and control products. These include the TM4000 utilizing a two-wire network for up to four tanks, the model TC8000 also using a two-wire network for up to eight tanks, and the model TD4000 which is a hardwired solution for any combination of four tanks and or batteries. This video is a demonstration of the TM4000, a tank monitoring and pump control system for up to four tanks. The system is designed to monitor tank levels on up to four tanks for gray or black holding tanks, water tanks, and fuel tanks. In addition, it controls pumps which pump out holding tanks on the black and gray tanks and it also provides control commands to water makers when potable water supplies go low and provides a flush permissive to marine toilets to prevent flushing into a full tank. The TM4000 system consists of three major parts. The first of these parts is a master display unit which is centrally located monitoring all four tanks. The second is an input output system or a tank controller which provides the interface to the level sensor and transmits information about the tank level back to the master display and provides pump control on tanks which are equipped with that facility. The master display unit and the input-output tank control unit communicate using a network cable which can be up to 1,000 meters in length. Also, two additional remote displays may be located anywhere on that network, giving the capability to monitor and control tanks from several locations on the boat. The third component in the system is the level sender, and the TM4000 system supports all the popular level senders including resistive, capacitive, ultrasonic, and pressure. The smart switch pressure type level sender is unique in that it is completely solid state. In addition, it can be mounted either at the top of the tank or at the bottom of the tank, or even in a tank's discharge pipe. It operates on the basis that all liquids have a static pressure, and that pressure can be translated to a unique level within the tank. Here is the SEN B300 pressure sender. It's mounted in a stainless steel fixture for top mounting on the tank and uses the standard SAE 5 bolt pattern which is utilized by most of the popular tank senders on the market. It is connected to the tank control unit by three wires through a Packard type plug. A stainless steel tube extends from the bottom of this fixture and to the bottom of the tank. This sealed stainless steel tube transmits the pressure at the bottom of the tank to the sensor at the top. Pressure sensors must be calibrated to the size of the tank and this can easily be accomplished using a calibration tube. In this case 
a two inch PVC drain pipe with an end cap and filled with water. The advantage of this approach is that it does not require filling and emptying of a large holding tank. So the entire calibration process can be accomplished offline. The tank control unit provides solid state pump control which is rated at 60 amps at 12 volts DC. Screw terminals are provided for all control wiring that will accept up to a number 12 wire. Spade terminals are provided for all power wiring. The master display unit incorporates sealed buttons and to change the display to a bar graph from a gallons and percentage merely press the scroll key. The main purpose of the scroll key of course is to scroll between the tanks to monitor the levels and control pumps as required. Here we are simulating the filling of a holding tank and when that tank reaches a preset limit an alarm will be generated at the master display. The alarm can then be muted and when appropriate pumping of the tank can be initiated. The TM4000 system stops the pumping operation when it senses the tank is empty, preventing any damage to the pump running dry. Programming the system is extremely straightforward, just requiring you to enter the program mode by pushing the backlight and scroll key simultaneously. When you enter the program mode, you're presented with a menu, the first item of which is to programming the tank. And at this stage, you must identify which of the four tanks you're about to program. In this case, the tank number is number two. This corresponds to the address of the tank, which is set up on a selector switch inside the tank controller. Now you select the tank name, in this case scrolling through to find the proper name, and it will be Black Tank. And then you can change the name of the tank if you choose. Identify the type of tank it is. In this case a black water tank, which would indicate that this system will shut off the pumping operation upon emptying the tank. And then the alarm point is adjusted, either up or down, when, and then selected. Do you want an audible alarm, yes or no? Do you want to set the tank volume? The answer is yes. In this case, gallons. And we'll set the tank volume at 79 gallons. This brings us back to the menu. And at this point we can scroll down through the various menu options. We've already programmed the tank. Uh, set the relay at the, on the alarm point. Turn the alarm on or off. You can set the tank volume again. A special pump option. and set the pump starter stop point. Usually that's set at empty. And on the black tank selector switch we're setting it here at empty just to verify that. That's back to programming the tank. Now setting, going down through the menu all the way to 
the exit menu point, push the button, the, 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 saving the data, and now we're back to a fully programmed system. The only other setup required is the calibration of the level sensor. This calibration process can be done for either regularly shaped rectangular tanks or irregularly shaped tanks that are often found on board large yachts. Inside the cover of the tank controller are a push button, an LED light, and a rotary switch. Access to these is via four screws which remove the cover of the tank controller. For purposes of this demonstration, we will do an offline calibration using the calibration tube mentioned earlier. To set the low point, we simply remove the sensor completely from the calibration tube. Next, we turn the rotary switch to the calibration position, which is zero. Now we press the push button holding it in until the LED begins to flash rapidly, looking for four slow flashes to confirm that the setting for the low point has been set. Next we reinsert the sensor back into the calibration tube and return to the tank controller to set the tank's high point. Once again, Four slow flashes indicates that the tank high point has been set. Then we return to the rotary selector switch, turning the switch back to position 2, which is this tank's address. At this point, the black tank has been completely programmed and calibrated and is ready for operation. In summary, the smart switch TM4000 offers the capability to monitor and control up to four tanks from a central location over a network system. This two-wire network places control and monitoring near the tanks and a master display in a convenient location on board the boat. A network system can significantly reduce installation costs. Display of tank level can either be a bar graph or a percent full and volume display. In addition, remote display units can be located elsewhere on the boat and you are confined only by the 1000 meter total network length as to your placement of these remote units. The system uses a variety of popular level sensors including resistive capacitive and pressure sensors. And lastly, in addition to level measurement, you have full automatic and manual control of all pumping operations. The TM4000 is economical and suited for any boat with multiple tanks. In North America, smart switch technology products are distributed through marine control systems. You may contact us at the website www.marinecontrol.info.